It's the most eagerly awaited domestic match of the season. And now the hype is over. This is reality. Well, the atmosphere at Old Firm matches is constantly referred to as electric, but even with Old Firm standards, this really is special. An air of expectancy also about the Celtic supporters in particular coming into this match. Walter Smith starting the match in the director's box. Tommy Bruns, of course, has to be there in view of his touchline van. Here's Anderson. Logan has found space on the right. Anderson again, and only careful with the clearance. Good clearance start by Enrico Anoni. One of only two players on the field starting an old-time match for the first time. The other, surprisingly, is Eric Will Anderson of Rangers. A long throw from Robertson. And a decent effort by Ian Ferguson on the volley. Taken very comfortably by Kerr. The long throw was aimed there for Gordon Petrich. Managed to get the ball back off the head of Malky Mackay. And Ferguson tipping in with that volley. As he stops, there's more freedom tonight in this free roll at the back to come forward. Next day, McKinley closed down rapidly by Cleland. Petrich leaning hard in on Di Canio. This is Moore. Right as quickly to the ball. Well, tackling, as you would expect, is very tough indeed. And Tosh McKinley requires attention. This doesn't look good for McKinley. Referee Jim McCluskey waves away complaints from Celtic players about Craig Moore's involvement in that. Here's what that's about. And Moore was in high, all right. He caught McKinley. McKinley coming in. Moore is very high indeed. And I think he's lucky to find referee McCluskey taking an indulgent view of that. The early stage of the match. Jordan up against Cadet. Clearance came from McLaren. Low drop linking with Albats. Good play from Rangers. Here's Low drop in space. And only comes across. Brilliant goalkeeping by Kerr. Truly magnificent save by the young keeper. Rangers coming forward again. Grant makes the tackle. That's McStay. Ian Ferguson putting pressure on there at the edge of the Celtic area. There's McStay now, restoring some order in midfield. They want to calm things down, I think, Celtic. That was certainly an escape. And all down to the quality goalkeeping of Stuart Kerr. Great movement, this. Albert for the pass. Anderson let it run. This was Lodo, and only couldn't get to him. That's great goalkeeping. Could be so important before the next time. Done Celtic this time with Picanio. Picanio taken out of the play there. Free kick at the corner of the box. Well, they really committed Rangers defenders there, Picanio, on that run. Going inside, Petrich was caught by the big defender. Picanio and Grant together. Opportunity is wasted. Phil O'Donnell right in front of goal. The free kick spread eagle. The Rangers defence. That was a tap in for Phil O'Donnell. On his weaker foot at the right, but this should have been an easy one. Had to get this on target. Gordon wasn't tested. Space on the far side for Tosh McKinley. Delivery is good. Good defending by McLaren. It had to be. Cadet was waiting. It's an 
unrelenting action here in the opening stages of the match. Evidently marked inside the box by Bjorklund. The header goes in! It's Malky Mackay for Celtic! A dream start for Celtic. Bad defending. Gorham out of reach. Mackay with a fine header. Andy Gorham will not be happy about this. Came and missed. Mackay's presence was too much for him here what a fine leap it was Gorham was out of reach what a start for Malky Mackay third goal of the season what a start of the game for Celtic here goes Peter Grant back now with O'Donnell Interception made by McLaren. The offside flag goes up against George Cadet. Well, it's inside the six yard box. It really is a goalkeeper's ball, but Gorham was hesitant coming out. And Malky Mackay beat him to it. Oh, a good header by Mackay. Grant has been matched up against Alberts in midfield. Interesting. Formation in the middle of the field, big stage in the centre against Ferguson. O'Donnell against Moore. Tommy Barnes looks impassive, but he must be privately delighted at the moment. Grant wanted McKinley to come short to receive the pass. Stubbs to Grant. O'Donnell. Precise passing there for McKinley, he's away from Clellan. Cadet and Bjorkman give chase. Penalty's given. Penalty kick to Celtic. Cadet's pace surprised Bjorkman. Rangers look on in disbelief. But the penalty kick's been given. Bjorkman fully had this under control. Cadet put on a spot clear. That's a foul, all right. The referee was correct. Cadet was too quick for Bjorkman. Surprised him without doubt. Yorkland very clumsy indeed, going to the ball with a wrong foot. Oh, what a turn of pace. The acceleration was remarkable. And now, at Paolo Di Canio, three out of three penalties this season he scored. Against Andy Gorham, who saved three out of five. 2-0 to Celtic. Coolness personified. Delirium all around the stands at Celtic Park. You don't get penalties taken any better than that against a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant play by Di Canio. 19 minutes into the first half, calmly stroked home by Paolo Di Canio. Well, the chant is for Paolo Di Canio, once again, a huge favourite here. Celtic now brim full of confidence. Cadet back in the field, closing down Robertson. Good play by Anderson. Low drop turning well, but closed down by Malcolm Mackay. This is big stay for Celtic. Delightful pass, De Cario's in the clear, Cadet's in the middle, so is O'Donnell. And this time the referee says no foul. Jim McCluskey looks towards Paul De Cario. The referee said this was a shoulder charge. Well, I have to say, I think Alan McLaren's very lucky indeed here. Diving into the tackle, out of range for the ball. I think Rangers were lucky. Clearly took him out for me. Every Celtic attack carries menace. A great little flick from Di Canio. 
Astra back from McKinley. And he can't deliver the ball, De Canio. O'Donnell lets it run. That's a big stay. Brilliant play once again from Celtic. A startling performance in the early part of the match, this from Celtic. De Canio's movement is really sensational. effort there by McStay, just couldn't keep it down. That's Peter Grant's header, this is McNamara. Movement again offered by Di Canio, working both flanks superbly, leaving Cadet in the centre. Robertson to our bats. Throw is given. Carrier's back heel, there's Grant! The tackle came from Robertson. Peter Grant protests vehemently to the referee. And accusations of diving from the Rangers players towards Grant. And in fairness, the referee didn't see it as a foul. Grant may be lucky not to be yellow card for that. Perfect it goal go for the goal kick. Jim McCluskey decides to get up the first time with a penalty kick. Well, the referee couldn't have been better position for this. It did appear to be contact. An escape, I think, for Rangers. Well, and turning well. Strong tackle made by Mackay. Very important one on Anderson. Well, down goes De Canio, a clear foul by Ferguson. It will be the first yellow card of the match. Ferguson offering no complaint. Another one up. Beaten still and speed there. Tense moments for Walter Smith. Good control again from McStay in the heart of midfield for Celtic. Across to Kenley. Nicanio taken out late by Petric. They really can't handle him, Rangers. He's been a constant problem right from the start. Oh, Petric beaten again by the skill, speed, clumsy late tackle. the way he receives this, complete confidence. Di Canio has taken a bit of buffeting in the match so far. Still caused endless problems for Rangers defence. Right, Showing too much of that to Albert. Rangers on the throw. Ferguson to Albert. Fine tackle by Mackay. Cadet doing well. This is Petrich. <laughs> Heavy collision there. Eric Go Anderson and Alan Stubbs. Game stopped immediately. Both players in trouble, especially Anderson, I think. Solid collision here, a bit of a misunderstanding between Stubbs and Anoni. Stubbs came for it eventually. A sickening collision here between the two players. The heads colliding there. Doesn't look any better, the more obvious here. I suspect Eddie Go Anderson won't take any full apart in the game. Well, Stubbs nodding his head there in response to questions about his capacity to continue. And Eddie Go Anderson has indeed gone to the dressing room. On comes Ali McCoyst. Lover. Di Canio gives chase. Petrich. Retaining possession superbly, the big defender. Petrich again. Unfamiliar territory. Rangers have the throw. Lauder. 
Well held by Kerr. McCoy's closing in so rapidly. It was a difficult shot for the young keeper. Well, Lodrum certainly tested Stuart Kerr with this effort. You just watch McCoy's hustling into the keeper, looking for the rebound. Almost bubbled away. Well, Di Canio really has been the man of the first half. It's wonderful control. Half time whistle. Celtic with that two goal cushion. And a stunning first half performance. Marky Mackay got the opener in just 11 minutes. There's one which Andy Gorham won't really see too often. An orthodox corner kick from the left, taken by Di Canio. Mackay getting there ahead of Gorham. Celtic in a precious lead. They've built in that. Their confidence was up. And then Bjorkman brought down Cadet for that penalty kick in 19 minutes. Paolo Di Canio finished it off in splendid style. And it's a leap at half time, which Celtic thoroughly deserve. And Celtic 2, Rangers now. Well, Celtic will make a change for the second half. Andreas Tom is waiting to come on to replace the injured Paolo Di Canio, who took something of a buffeting in that first half, and he's not fit to resume in the second half. So it's Tom for Di Canio. It's said so frequently that the opening five or ten minutes of the second half in these circumstances will be crucial. But surely never more than tonight because Rangers really have to think of doing something very smartly to change the pattern in this game. Celtic will be looking to consolidate at least and perhaps do better than that. There's McNamara. He's won a corner kick straight away at the start of the second half. And Celtic starting the second half the way they conducted themselves throughout much of the first. Good play this by McNamara. Appeared to be no gap to go through, but he found it. So the corner kick will be taken by Tosh McKinley from the right hand side. Stops the Mackay up. There's Mackay again. And a free header for the Celtic centre half once again. His movement inside the area is good. Alan McLaren looks perplexed. And look at the way Mackay comes off the six-yard box for that header. Grant quickly in and out bounce. This is Tom. A collision over the far side. Robertson and McNamara initially. The referee's waving play on with two Celtic players on the ground. Celtic don't want the advantage. David Robertson will be in trouble. Appeared to lose the place there, Robertson. He clashed initially with McNamara. Then careered into Tom well you'll see in the top of the picture there a trip by Robertson and McNamara initially as McNamara broke then that reckless tackle well, this could be very serious for Robertson depends how much the referee saw well he only saw one infringement obviously it's a yellow card for David Robertson well, Rangers have a throw here we'll see what McCoy does with this well that's just what you would expect Giving it straight back to Celtic. Sports for like fashion. Jorklin's clearance. In goes Grant. Again, he wanted it badly. O'Donnell against Bjorkland. Well, the kick's been given. Well, has it. Rangers thought that was a goal kick. Celtic have other ideas. Maybe a third goal, but it would surely be a killer. And again, another header inside the box for a Celtic player. Alan Stubbs this time. Stubbs there up against Petric. And again, bad defending. This is Stubbs. Pressurised by McCoy, into that error. Loudrop. Maloney clattering into Loudrop late. Grant thinks that Loudrop dived. The referee doesn't agree, and the yellow card goes to Anoni. Yellow card for the Italian. Well, the pass had gone when Anoni continued with that tackle. It's a clear foul, and he's got no complaint at all. Petrich is in the box. Craig Moore also provides an aerial threat. 
Well read by Stubbs. And McLaren went in late on Stubbs. Temper spraying out there. Frustration, I think, in the part of the Rangers men. But Stubbs played the ball away. McLaren came flying in. High and with the studs up. He also really has no complaint. Could have been nasty for Stubbs. Well, the canny has joined Tommy Bonds in the stand. Checks his watch. Things going to plan for Celtic. Bjorklund across to Robertson. Mike Damana was very sharp with that tackle. Had to go again against Moore. Loud of away from Anoni. Trying to measure the pass for Van Boston. The gap suddenly wasn't there. Brilliant play from Paul McStay. Strong work there by Moore. Petrovic. Hustled instantly by Grant. Fouled by Petrovic and Grant off the ball. Dragged him over by catching him by the collar. The referee McCluskey doesn't want to know. Great game from Paul McStay tonight. This is Petrovic. Moore arrives late. It's a good effort. Well, perhaps the second best ever of the match there from Rangers came from Craig Moore. Attacked the ball very well indeed from that cross. Got above the Celtic defence. Kerr had to play that shape. So Van Bossen with a corner. And Stuart Kerr stood in his line there. Phil O'Donnell made the clearing header. Paul McStay's a one with the young keeper. It really was his ball that. Well, one again, this time by Stubbs. Well, Brian Loudrop has had one of the poorest nights from him we've seen for a very long time. And that just about sums it up. And that chance early in the match when Stuart Kerr brought up the great save and never really been involved much since then. Good header out by Stubbs. Half volley over the top. Walter Smith and Archie Hawks with David Dodds considering what changes now could be made. Checks the time. Quarter now remaining. 2-0 to Celtic. Ferguson did well. That's mixed day. Now McKinley. Off goes Cadet against McLaren. McLaren appeared to play the ball. Or did he? No. But they're not. Goal kick it is. Tough challenge by Cadet. An error by McLaren, that's Cadet. Well, had he caught that properly, Gorham would have been in trouble. Now Gorham tries again with Bjorklund this time. Well, this could have been so costly. Careless to stay by McLaren. And Gorham struggling to find a position. Night of joy so far for these Celtic supporters. Moore's header, Stubbs gets the pitch, shows good control and delightful touch for McStay. This is McKinley. In towards Tom it goes. O'Donnell. Corner kick to Celtic. Well, there seems to be much more purpose about these Celtic attacking moves. Even when they flight balls forward like that, there's runners going in there. That's not happening for Rangers. Guys up again. Celtic looking for the killer goal. McKinley's corner. One by Moore. First to the ball was O'Donnell. Time there for McKinley to measure it. Disappointing cross in the end. Try once again. Help from Paul McStay. Fine play from McStay once again. The great ball in. Cadet with a full stretch. A corner kick's been given. 
Oh, that's great play again from Paul McStay for Celtic. Wonderful midfield exhibition we've had tonight from Paul McStay. Cadet in the middle might have been offside there. Challenged all the way for the ball. Tosh McKinley's in swinger. Up goes Mackay again. Inside the six yard box. No Rangers player getting to him. Slightly off balance. I see number five there. Gets to this. And really, that's terrible defending. Celtic on the way to the semi final, but much more important, even I think, than that. They've broken the stranglehold which Rangers have enjoyed for so long in these old firm matches. And that sets up a truly Titanic League match in 10 days' time. Rangers' pride will have been stung by that. Stubbs back, it goes to McCoyst. No glory finish from McCoyst this time. Referee McCluskey, the man, awaited by these Celtic supporters blowing his whistle. The Stuart Kerr will take this goal kick, it may be the last action of an incredible match. Made the first telling contribution of Celtic with that great save from Brian Laudrup. And now uh, Rangers trying yet again. Cadet steals that from Ferguson. Bad tackle there by Durant on Tom. Referee ways play on, I think sensibly in the circumstances. And only his possession. The final whistle goes. Celtic are in the semi final of the Tennis Scottish Cup after a masterly performance. Led by Malky Mackay's opening goal in 11 minutes. Enrico Anoni with an offensive stalwart also. Mackay not only scored the opening goal, but played quite superbly in the heart of the Celtic defence. Stuart Kerr that great save at 0-0 from Laudrup. But Paul McStay was the man who ran the game for Celtic with a truly magnificent overall performance. Celtic with a studied, intelligent second-half performance on top of the fireworks in the first. They've gone through deservedly, and you can see the joy, the relief in the faces of all these players. The season is very much alive, the huddle is resumed and is greeted with acclaim. Celtic are right back on course with a truly outstanding performance, and they go through deservedly, they've broken the hoodoo. It's Celtic 2, Rangers nil.